If you disguise and reload your revolver, your disguised appearance will also reload their weapon. But if the spy somehow has a sniper rifle, and he's disguised as a sniper, scoping in will actually make the disguise scope in as well. In fact, disguises can actually fake any movement. This is because there's technically no difference in how the game animates a disguised spy and a normal player. When you join a tier 2 match, the server isn't sending you pictures of what you see to then display on your monitor. The server is sending you information about what's happening in a text message. This text message can include information like the coordinates of where you are on the map and coordinates of other players. Your computer takes all this information and assembles it into a coherent picture for you to see. When the server tells your computer how to display a particular player, it's also a text message listing all their attributes, what class and team they're on, what hats they're wearing, and so on. Player animations are just another attribute specified in this list. When you press a button on your mouse or keyboard, your input is sent to the server. The server processes this, then tells everyone else what animation state you're in. If you left click, the server tells everyone you're in the state of firing your gun. So when your computer is rendering another player, on top of processing what they look like, it'll also process what their animation state is. Whatever animation state the server specifies, whether it's simply standing still with their primary weapon out, or ducking and firing, your computer reads it, looks up the appropriate animation, and plays it. This is how we go from a bunch of text from the server into objects we can see. The spy is rendered in the same way, with only one difference. The server checks if the information is being sent to a friend or an enemy of the spy. To friendlies, he appears as a friendly spy. To enemies, the server will report that you are their friendly heavy, or whatever your disguise is. Otherwise, whatever buttons the spy is pressing is still processed by the server as usual. So the server continues to tell everyone what animation state you're in, as usual. If the spy jumps, the server declares him in the jumping animation state. Friendly players will look up the jump animation for the class the server says they are, and see a spy jumping. For enemies, they'll look up the heavy's jump animation and see a heavy jumping. When the spy zooms in with a sniper rifle, the server simply reports that he is in the zoomed in animation state and everything works like nothing special. So every animation works. You can even get primary fire to happen. Normally, left-clicking would break your disguise, but that's actually special behavior that has to be specifically added into the code. If it's a weapon that the spy wouldn't normally have, or it's a sapper that shouldn't break your disguise, then it's simply not included in the code. So if you had the fire axe, for example, you could attack without a problem. The firing animations of most classes are pretty unremarkable, but the heavy's minigun will aggressively shake.
Here are other weapons that had interesting results if given to a disguised spy. And here are weapons with nothing interesting. A bunch of weapons just straight up don't work and can't be used by the spy, so nothing happens. Hi, my name is Gabe Newell, bye. This is the best 